American cheese is a type of processed cheese. It can be orange, yellow, or white in color, is mild, salty, and faintly sweet in flavor, has a medium firm consistency, and has a very low melting point. Very early in its history, American cheese was only white in color as it was made from a blend of cheeses most often including cheddar cheese which were originally only white. However, the later versions are often a yellow hue due to the addition of annatto, a sweet and nutty seasoning added to cheddar and to colby so that by the late 1800s American cheese was often simply called, "...yellow cheese". Today's American cheese is, by law, required to be manufactured from at least two types of cheese. Because its manufacturing process differs from, "...unprocessed." Natural cheeses, American cheese cannot be legally sold under the name authentic cheese in the U.S. Instead, federal laws mandate that it be labeled as processed cheese if simply made from combining more than one cheese, or cheese food if dairy ingredients such as cream, milk, skim milk, buttermilk, cheese whey, or albumin from cheese whey are added. As a result, sometimes even the word cheese is absent altogether from the product's labeling in favor of, e.g., American slices or American singles. In the United Kingdom, packs of individually wrapped slices are labeled as singles, although they are commonly referred to as cheese slices. The previously used marketing term, American cheese, for processed cheese, combined with the commonality of processed cheeses in the U.S., versus outside it, has led to the terms American cheese and processed cheese to often be confused outside the United States. However, the term American cheese has a legal definition as a type of pasteurized processed cheese under the American Code of Federal Regulations. History Origins British colonists made cheddar cheese soon upon their arrival in North America. By 1790, American cheddars were being exported back to England. According to Robert Carlton Brown, author of The Complete Book of Cheese, "...the English called our imitation Yankee, or American, cheddar, while here at home it was popularly known as yellow or store cheese." In 1878, the total export of American cheese was £355 million per year, with an expected growth to £1,420 million, after the invention of processed cheese in 1911, and its subsequent popularization by James L. Kraft in the late 1910s and the 1920s. The term, American cheese, rapidly began to refer to this variety, instead of the traditional but more expensive cheddars also made and sold in the U.S. The latter had already begun to be produced on an industrial scale in the 1890s, leading to the term, "...factory cheese". The Oxford English Dictionary defines American cheese as a "...cheese of cheddar type, made in the U.S.", and lists 1804 as the first known usage of "...American cheese", occurring in the Frankfurt, Kentucky newspaper Guardian of Freedom. The next usage given is in 1860 by Charles Dickens in his series The Noncommercial Traversal. The English method of producing cheddar cheese was known in America as the Joseph Harding method. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Modern varieties. Even though the term American cheese has a legal definition in the United States as a type of pasteurized processed cheese, and is actually something different. Products called cheese product are by no means identical. Depending on the additives and the amounts of milk fat, oil, and water added during emulsification, the taste and texture of solid American cheese varies. As a result, some varieties, e.g., American cheese and American processed cheese, bear remarkable similarity to traditional unprocessed cheeses while other varieties e.g. american cheese food and american cheese product are much more like velveeta or cheese whiz the taste and texture of different varieties of american cheese vary considerably depending on the food manufacturer the color of the cheese orange yellow or white may indicate different ingredients or processes 
Typically, yellow to orange American cheese is made with cheeses such as cheddar or Colby cheese that are seasoned with annatto, while white American cheese is made with cheeses such as white cheddar or jack cheese which do not contain annatto. The processed variety of American cheese is sold in three basic packaging varieties, individually wrapped cheese slices which are not sliced from a block of cheese, but rather slabs of processed cheese which are formed from a viscous processed cheese which only solidifies between the wrapping medium, small, pre-sliced blocks of 8 to 36 slices, and large blocks meant for use behind deli counters. The individually wrapped cheese slices are, typically, the least like traditional cheese. Small blocks of pre-sliced e.g. 8 to 36 slices unwrapped American cheese are also marketed often with the branding deluxe or old fashioned this variety of American cheese is similar in ingredients and texture to that of modern block American cheese before the advent of the individually wrapped variety this was the typical variety that Americans purchased hence some people refer to this as classic or traditional American cheese Market size Americans purchased about $2.77 billion worth of American cheese in 2018, but the popularity is falling and according to Bloomberg News, sales are projected to drop 1.6% in 2018. The average price for a pound of American is below $4 for the first time since 2011. See also List of cheeses List of dairy products Government cheese Kraft singles Velveeta Prevel Cheese Whiz Easy cheese Chili con queso Notes Topic: External links. Making American cheese on the farm for home consumption. Farmers Bulletin No. 1734, U.S. Department of Agriculture, October 1934. Hosted at University of North Texas Government Documents Department. An American type cheese: How to make it for home use. Farmers Bulletin No. 2075, U.S. Department of Agriculture, October 1954.